Oh, Sayaka? S sorry, are you okay? I I'm fine, I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? Mm -hmm. You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. But, are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Well, if you are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. We agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each find out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. This must be the dormitory dining hall. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess it's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much of a choice. I guess we should wait here for now. Hmm. Okay. Let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? <laughs> like I said, I'm psychic. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Um, so... What time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock? At night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I lost all sense of time. If I had to stay in this place for too long... I might just go crazy. By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Continuing our self-introductions? We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Sayaka wants to ask me something. I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. What did you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackbird Junior High? Were you... maybe in Class 2? Yeah, actually, I was. I knew it! I went there too! I was in Class 4 though! Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kind of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow, she still knew who I was. Hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you would remember me. I've been to the same school for three years, of course I remember! Well that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. What are you talking about? You're so strange! Strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. 
Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. <laughs> You're amazing, Makoto! No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? Yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped up! I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it, Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayako said that. Ah, Makoto. Sayako. So you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear, I'll win, no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigation. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Wait, hold on a sec. What's wrong? What about, uh, oh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl? Um, oh yeah, Kyoko. What about her? She's not here. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Is it possible? Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko! You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. Mm-hmm. You know... Huh? What's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No. You've already done so much as my assistant. Okay, so, since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. Really? That's it? If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. R right Understood. I spent some time looking around the dormitory. There I made the discovery of a sentry. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anyone else. Each door already has a nameplate on it. 
so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision X onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And Chihara and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms at the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked the bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Well, better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. Th that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor, student? That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro are all grouped together. We went all up and down the school, double-checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Nothing! Not a damn thing! We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit! There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been cut off. This sucks. It really sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks! What the hell are we gonna do? God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro are all grouped together. The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Toko, and Hufumi were left over, so they joined up. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. I went back to the main hall, thinking we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. But even with Sakura and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs, and nothing! It was hard as, like, metal. Well, yes, it is metal. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. If I am being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? Well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. For forget it. Like, I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Slut? Your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Alright guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Yeah! It sounds like you two are so close now, you're fighting like sisters! I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. So this is what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. I went and had a look around the dining hall, 
I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen. And it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. I guess we really don't have to worry about food, at least. Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? You can just eat sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. At least, that's what Matakuma said. You saw him? Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But, was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. Eat... eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Come on, man! What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. I like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, stop screwing around, all of you! Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here! We could all just die any second! She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or- A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Kyoko! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? Wha- What the? Where did you find this? It doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now. Never mind that! What's it mean? Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this is really Hope's Peak Academy? Well, in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? I don't know all the details yet. All I found was the details about the first floor. But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn. But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out, right? People in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so funny? I am just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. Didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. You didn't ha have to go and say that. I was just trying to think about it. N no way out. We're trapped here. W what are we supposed to do? It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Don't even joke about that! Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. There's got to be something we can do. All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. 
live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. Huh? What do you mean? We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding night time, right? So, regarding this night time, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. But, but why? The way things are now, every time night comes, we all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. What? If we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as kind of a preventative measure? However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. I see what you mean. Why? I think I can agree to that. It's like the little Gothelita said, without something like that we're just gonna self-destruct. On behalf of all of the men here, I agree to comply. Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. So everyone is in agreement? Good. Then if you will excuse me... Huh? Wait, where are you going? It is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. So, so I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Adaptability. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Uh, um, well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Do we really have to stay the night here? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. So, we have to just give up. That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? Our only option is to split up and look around again, and let everyone know if we find anything. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Then we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah. Let's go.